Dear students, for nervous coordination to work, there are two important stages. First, changes from the internal or external environment are detected by the sensory receptors and are carried to the central nervous system. Second, the instructions from the central nervous system must be carried to the effector organs. And this is the role of the peripheral nervous system. So our lesson today is about peripheral nervous system and this is from Simple Biology. Subscribe for more videos and let's start. Comparing the central nervous system versus the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain, spinal cord. On the other side, the peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves. Central nervous system composed of brain spinal cord, as we said, and contains relay neurons. Peripheral nervous system composed of cranial nerves, spinal nerves, peripheral nerves, and contains both sensory neurons and motor neurons. So the central nervous system contains relay neurons, while the peripheral nervous system contains sensory and motor neurons. Let's talk about the peripheral nervous system in details. It's made up of two major parts, the voluntary nervous system and the involuntary autonomic nervous system. And if we take the first part, voluntary nervous system, let's say that you want to pick up your drink. You will use voluntary nervous system. Let's put your drink aside and let's switch off your computer. Wait, wait, before you switch off the computer, subscribe to the channel. In this case, we are doing voluntary actions under full conscious control. This is voluntary nervous system. The man on the left is so angry and upset, and I don't know why, but when the woman on the right side is relaxing and sleeping. These two actions under the control of the autonomic nervous system, which is involuntary. So what are the two parts of the autonomic nervous system? The sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. The sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system is somehow antagonistic which means that they are opposite to each other in their action. For example, the sympathetic nervous system dilates pupils, while the other one constricts pupils of the eye. The sympathetic nervous system inhibits flow of saliva. Parasympathetic nervous system stimulates flow of saliva. The first one dilates bronchi. The other one constricts bronchi. Wait, wait, remember the man who was so angry this man need to see his enemy properly that's why the pupil dilates and that's why the bronchi dilates to get more oxygen as well for the muscles because they need energy on the other side the woman is relaxing and does not need much oxygen and does not need much of like being alert to see any enemy because she's just relaxing and that's why the pupils constrict and the constriction of bronchi as well now what about the saliva of course someone who's very nervous will not think of digesting any food so that's why inhibition of flow of saliva and this happens when you get nervous and on the other side the uh, stimulates the flow of saliva because if you're relaxing it's more likely to digest your food let's more talk more about this again the nervous man accelerates heartbeat so sympathetic nervous system accelerates heartbeat because the oxygen and the glucose has to be delivered to the uh, muscles quickly on the other side slows the heartbeat we said glucose, glucose, it comes from the conversion of glycogen, and this is in the liver. So the sympathetic nervous system stimulates the conversion of glycogen to glucose. The others simulates release of bile. 
So wait a minute. We said that they are antagonistic. How come stimulates conversion of glycogen to glucose is antagonistic to stimulates release of bile? So this is not antagonistic action. It seems that Saying that the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system are antagonistic, it's a very simplified definition, which is here it shows that it's not true. Also, this one inhibits peristalsis, the other one stimulates peristalsis, and the last on the list stimulates the secretion of adrenaline and noradrenaline. And on the other side, there is no antagonistic function in the parasympathetic nervous system. For the secretion of adrenaline and noradrenaline. Not to mention here that the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the fight or flight response and the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the rest and digest response. Now let's talk a little bit about the structure of both of them. Here you can see the differences in the structure. The preganglionic fiber in the parasympathetic system is very long. And by the way, both of them are myelinated. So both preganglionic fibers are myelinated in both of them. In the sympathetic nervous system, they have short preganglionic fiber, which means what? The ganglia are close to the central nervous system in the sympathetic system. And in the parasympathetic system, they are far away to, from the central nervous system and they are close to the effector. The neurotransmitter in the parasympathetic system is acetylcholine, while the neurotransmitter in the sympathetic system is noradrenaline. This is all about the sympathetic, parasympathetic, voluntary, involuntary nervous system. And let's summarize. So the peripheral nervous system is made up of two major div divisions, autonomic and voluntary. The autonomic is made up of two subdivisions are the sympathetic and parasympathetic. While it's true that many continuous or basic functions of the body, such as the control of the heart and the breathing rate, the control of the gut function can take place without conscious thought, leaving the conscious areas of the brain free to make decisions. Voluntary nervous system gives conscious control and can often override the autonomic nervous system if necessary. So you can somehow control your breathing rate and to some degree, some people that they control their heart rate. So the voluntary nervous system can override the autonomic nervous system. If you didn't subscribe, to the channel, subscribe now to get more videos. Thank you.